Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. First of all, if you are new to this channel, or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And I believe the channel is going to be helpful for you. And you can follow me on other platforms as well. Guys, right? the link is in the description itself. So guys, first of all, I know I might be looking funny, but it's too cold here. Um, uh, right? So it's it's too cold here. And uh, yes, guys, take care of yourself in that much cold. So with that note, let's get started with today's problem statement. So today's problem is valid Sudoku. So the question says, determine if a 9 cross 9 Sudoku board is valid. Only the filled cells need to be validated according to the following rules. So we are having a Sudoku board that is 9 cross 9. And we have to validate the filled cells only. So there can be empty cells as well. So that's why we are saying that some rules have been listed and we have to validate the filled cells. So the first rule is that each row must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition. So in each in each row, in each row, there should be digits from 1 to 9 and that these digits should not be repeated. So let's say in one row, 1 has occurred before. So next time we are not expecting 1 to occur again. Otherwise that would be repetition and it is not going to be a valid row. So second is each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition. So this is the column. So in each column, again, there should be digits from 1 to 9 only and they should also not be repeated. So if let's say 1 has occurred in column 1, so again in column 1, it should not occur. Otherwise, it would be a repetition and this won't be a uh, valid column. So each of the nine, 3 cross 3 sub boxes. Now, first rule, they mentioned about uh, row, then column, and now they are talking about the sub boxes. So each of the line 3 cross 3 sub boxes of the grid must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition, right? So a note also they have provided that a Sudoku word partially filled could be valid, but it is not necessarily solvable. So we don't have to worry about if it is solvable or not. Our thing is that we have to check if it is um, valid or not. Second thing is only the filled cells. So those cells which are empty, they not need to be validated. So only the filled cells have to be validated according to the mentioned rules. So for example, there we have given one example. So when, they are, uh, when we were talking about the boxes, so these are the boxes. Uh, you can see, you can see 3 cross 3 one. So first box is this 5, 3, uh, this one. This is the first box. F uh, 5, 3, then uh, nothing is there. Then 6, nothing, nothing, empty, empty, 9, 8. So first box, similarly, this 7, 1 is the second box. Then this one is containing just one six that is the third box similarly the fourth box fifth box sixth box like that seventh eighth ninth box so like if these are the sub uh, boxes basically so here um, in this particular example all the given conditions all the three conditions has to be met have to be met right so they are uh, getting satisfied and hence we are returning true in the second example if you will see so if this row you will see if the zeroth row so here we have sorry uh, zeroth column if you will see so here we have 8, 6, then empty, then 8 again, right? 8 is occurring again. So this is not a, we cannot say this because this Sudoku is not a valid one because the element, the number 8 is repeating again. So that's what I have mentioned, that same as example one, except with the 5 in the top left corner being modified to 8, since there are two 8s in the top left, 3 cross 3 sub box. So this is also the thing, and here you can see the, if this box you are checking this one, this box, this box, if you will check, so the uh, in this box, in this box, in this box, one eight is there. Then again, in the same box only, we are having another eight. So from here itself, you can also we can also say yeah, that it is not a valid Sudoku, right? So I hope you understood the problem statement that what uh, basically problem statement is is given. Constraint is there that uh, board board dot ledge is equal equal to that of nine. Board of i dot ledge is equal equal to nine. And board ij value is going to be a digit from 1 to 9 or a or a dot. That dot will represent empty. That nothing is there. Right. So what could be the approaches to solve this particular problem? Now let's talk about the approaches to solve this particular problem. So three conditions. Basically, to Sudoku, for the Sudoku to be valid, it is important that all the three conditions should be satisfied. Right. So one, one approach that can come to your mind is that one by one we can we check for all the three conditions okay what do i mean by this that uh, first let's let's do the validation for row then next do the validation for column then next do the validation for sub boxes right so if means we will e check for each row this 
वन रो सेकेंड रो थर्ड रो फोर्थ रो फिफ्थ रो सिक्स रो सेवेंथ एट्थ नाइन्थ सो वी विल वी विल चेक फॉर ईच रो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल now the thing is duplication should not happen so is there any data structure that can help us about the same so of course we do have set so what we can do while uh, executing or while you know doing the iteration on a specific row put all the elements of that specific row in a set and keep on checking means as we are encountering any element for a, for a given row just check if this element has occurred before or not if this element has occurred before it means what that is the repetition and at the same time only we can return false no need to you know continue the um, process for the that instance is said return false right so see uh, i mean have a look in the parallel we, we will we can have the look on the code part also so yeah first as i said first we will do the check for the rows so what we are doing we are having 9 plus 9 a board right so that's why uh, we are outer loop is int i equal to 0 i less than 9 i plus plus then for each row we need right with each row we will initialize one set again you you can see that that's why we are putting set here that each row should be unique it's not like the complete one we have to take for as of now we are doing the validation for row so that's why we have we are having set here and uh, now let's say if i am talking about this one row so what value is getting changed see this row 0 1 if i have to check for this row so what is the element at 0 1 5 5 sorry 0 0 5 0 1 3 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 means ith value will remain constant jth value will change 0 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 0 6 0 like that right so here we have j equal to 0 j less than 9 j plus plus now we are fetching i mean we are storing the value of uh, the element uh, both i j value in this variable element and the first thing is that we have to do the validation for the uh, for the cells which are filled so that's why here itself we are checking that if the element that we have got if it is an uh, dot so we have to simply continue like what validation on that particular cell otherwise we are just checking that if this particular element has occurred before has occurred has occurred already or is present in our set already so we have to return false at the time otherwise we will just add that element into our set and we'll keep on execution for us for a first row then similarly i value will be incremented then we will check for the second row 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 like that right so this is the check for the this is the validation for the row next is we have to uh, they have given the validation for the columns as well so let's say we are validating one column this is our first column so here if this column if you will check so what would be the index so we will have 0 0 Then one zero, then two zero, then three zero, then four zero, then five zero, then six zero, then seven zero. So, uh, you can see zero means. So let's say here, if we are checking, uh, in terms of like code itself, let's see. So here we are having another check for columns. So in i equal to zero, i less than nine, i plus plus, and again with each column we would have a set. So here we are having our set. Then again, in inside we have int j equal to zero, j less than nine, j plus plus. So this time we are storing element as j i j c, because when we are talking about the column, so how the column for the first column how the indexes are, how the indexes are, zero zero one zero two zero three zero four zero five zero means the index which is changing continuously. So j is changing right here, j is changing, whereas i will remain constant. That is zero. Zero zero one zero two zero. So I remain zero itself till the execution of a specific column is not completed. So that's why uh, element uh, we are we are fetching board J of I board J I, and then again we are checking element if it is equal equal to that of dot means it is empty. So we have to continue. Uh, next check is that if the set is already having that elements means uh, validation it is invalid, right? So we have to return false. Otherwise we have to add that element in our set. So two validation is done. The next one is about the next one is about uh, the boxes validation. So how we can do the boxes validation? Like here, here we are having box like this five, three, seven. Like as of now, then six, one, two, then eight, nine. Like uh, I am just taking from mine. So this is our one box, three cross three box. Similarly, we are having two more box like this. So let's say one, two, three. Uh, Four, three, six, seven, then four, five, five. One more, one more. We we have to add five, five, five. Then seven, seven, seven. Then eight, eight, eight. 
like that like that okay so if talking about this chunk this chunk so so this is this is let me make some space so this is our first box this one this one is our first box this one is our uh, okay did i miss something yeah it will come here it will come yeah yeah so this is our first box three cross three three cross three box right five three seven six one two eight nine nine now uh the second box is this one one two three three six seven four five five the third box is five 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 seven 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 eight 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 like that so we have to do the validation for this this box so how how we can do so again uh, we will start uh into start row equal to zero uh start row less than nine and see one box is done one box is done means how many indexes we have already covered in this means this all this has been already verified right all this has been already verified so that's why we are we will start our next execution start row plus equal to three means uh let's say first start row was zero zero i, I will okay let, let me take you through the code part itself. so start row equal to zero start row less than nine start row plus equal to three then what would be the end row for this particular i if i have to validate this particular block this particular sub box so what is the end row what would be the end row for this one if we so zero say we have started zero say we have started so end row is one and this two so two is the end row right two is the end row two is the end row or you can uh two is the end row so or uh, other thing is okay so that's why what we have done is end row we have uh initialize the start row whatever the start row is just add two to it similarly uh if, if talking about the column if talking about the column sorry sorry so here is so basically in this way in a vertically when we are checking so we are checking the column so this is zero one two this we are talking about the column so this was the row this was the row so um zero one two two so this is the row this is the column so for in start call equal to zero start call less than nine and updating the value of start call plus equal to three and what would be the end column so again start column plus two so now what we are having for this box for this particular sub box we are having everything we are having the start row we are having the start column we are having the end row end column so what we are doing is that we um, i mean to avoid any kind of hodgepodge we have defined our method check to which we are providing the parameters board start row and row start column and column so let's have a look on that part go, uh, uh, in our method check so what we are doing is that the similar way as we were validating our rows columns so we are we are having a loop uh, getting started from start row i less than equal to end row why we are mentioning equal to end row because end row is what two means two also has to be included so zero one two so element whatever the element is that uh the end row that has to be included also right so that's why i less than equal to end row i plus plus and inside this uh, j equal to start column j is an equal to end column j plus plus so this in this complete block no element should repeat right in this complete block this el no element should repeat so for this we are having a set and with each element that we are uh, seeing we are just adding it into the set and also here in the starting itself we are checking if this element has already occurred in the set return false so once first block has been checked let's say one this sub block this sub block has already been checked so now what we want we want to check for this one for uh for this this element for this element which is at the third index so because this this sub block has already been checked right so how we will update the value of a start row the start row would be updated as plus equal to three means from third start third index start your uh validation thing again so that's why we are updating the value of a start row is plus equal to three and start column is plus equal to three right so i hope that it makes sense now so yeah these were so we have done all the validation and for any of the validation the condition never became false so yeah so you can see all of them are returning so from here also we are just returning true at the end and uh, here also we are returning true from at the end right right so this is the first approach i would say the approach that will come to most of your mind that okay let's do the problem in this way but uh I mean, is there any possible way that in one execution itself? I mean, as of now we are doing multiple iterations, right? One for row, column, and then for the sub boxes. So, if in one iteration itself we can achieve the target, we can achieve our, we can complete our task. So, yes, there is. So now we will have a look on that approach. So as of now, uh, just to make the things look clear, make the things look clear. I'm just commenting it. right and this is the approach that i am talking about
okay so what we are doing is that what we will do again we will we will have a loop and i equal to 0 i less than i j equal to 0 j less than i and uh, plus plus uh, i or i uh, j i plus plus whatever you want to write you can write so we have fetched our number so again we have to do all the validation if, if our number is not equal to is not equal to this dot right so what we are doing now with for example if we are talking about this element 3 so now we will store again we will use the hashtag and we will store that we have seen this element 3 at a at this row at this row so what is the element 3 3 row which row at on which row it is 3 row 0 okay 3 row 0 we have seen 3 row 0 we have seen if talking about the column so at which column we have seen so 3 column 3 column 3 column j so what is the column is uh, which column uh, it is it is on column 1 3 column 1 now now we have uh, kept the entry for the element 3 like uh, in terms of row in terms of column right now what block does it belong to if we have determined so we are having a 9 cross 9 sudoku box right so for a given ij like when we are in this range of 0 to 2 so if we will divide it by 3 so whatever the value of i is if we will divide it by 3 and j is also j is denoting basically column so if we will divide it by 3 we will get 0 we will get 0 only so 3 is a part of what 0th block similarly if any one entry is there so uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 5 in index in this particular range and any one is so we will get first block in terms of row and the column right so like like how we will how we will keep the entry so for example this three this three uh so how we will keep the entry so three block three block i divide by so i is what i is what zero zero divide by three we will get zero three block zero three block zero j divide by three so j is what one one divide by three obviously you will get zero so three block zero zero right so let's say next time what do we have next time what do we have let's say um uh, here if we will have this 3 has occurred again so we, we came to this particular thing so in our set already these values are there so uh, we will again store the entries so 3 row so at what row this 3 is at second row 3 row 2 so a unique entry obviously then 3 column so at which column it is 3 column 3 column 1 and this entry is already there in our set right so when we are we will do this addition operation so it is going to return a false so uh, at the same at the same instant itself we will return false because this entry it is already there in our in our um, set but let's say this 3 was not here here was 9 or something else so here uh, now if this 3 if this 3 if we are talking about so this this 3 is at what row second row and at what column second column so both the entries are unique then but this 3 is in the same box in the same box value also should not be repeated that is what uh, in the validation we do have so again we will put uh, it and check for it so three block i i is what two two divide by three we will get zero and j is also what two so two divide by um three we will get zero three block zero zero this one three is already there so again so this block is not is invalid so we will return false we will return false right right so i hope just do a try then so you will get better understanding it's not just by watching the video you want to grab it all so like some people can but not for everyone so do a try and then you will get a better understanding so that's what we are doing in the code we are just checking if number is not equal to dot so in the addition itself if the value uh in the addition operation itself the value return is being is being false it means the value is already in the set so this condition will this if condition will become true so we are checking for see we are doing the addition for row we are doing the number plus row column j number plus block i divide by 3 plus j divide by 3 so here we are mapping both the row and column i and j both will be mapped and uh, if the condition become true so we will become so that's why that's why here we are here we are here we are, here we are keeping what because addition operation will return false it will returns false if the value is if the entry is already there in the set so not false will give us true means this if condition will become true and uh, false will be returned here itself if this condition never became true if this if condition never became true so at the end we are returning true right so yeah these were the two approaches to solve this particular problem i hope you were able to understand if not watch the video again and do a dry run from your end thank you so much for watching everyone and keep on doing the questions and take care of yourself it is too much cool so thank you so much bye bye